Welcome to episode four of mm, Medical Edibles. I'm Chef Tanya Nicole, chef and culinary nutritionist. Well, I freaking God! And today we're gonna make flavored candy, also known as Jolly Ranchers. This episode is sponsored by Fat Bowl and the new ill-mannered film series, Custom Agents. Check it out on our channel in our playlist section. The following are the ingredients you'll need to make the candies. We've been writing this down? Let's get this down. All right, this is good. All right. Okay. Today's ingredients are sugar, light corn syrup, flavored oil, food coloring, water, vegetable oil, keef, and confectioner's sugar. For this recipe, we'll be using keef. If you'd like to learn how to decarb your keef, you can go ahead and watch episode three. This keef is from this tangerine dream. Tangerine dream. Oh, wait, we're back. Are you high? Huh? For today's recipe, what you'll need is a candy thermometer, a pastry brush, and several spatulas. I prefer silicone. Uh huh. Some candy molds metal measuring spoons, and a large saucepan. Start with your large saucepan. Our first ingredient is two cups of sugar. And I like to sift the sugar in case there are any large lumps. My lady, lady lumps! That's annoying. Next, we'll add three quarter cups of water, which I've already pre-measured here. For this next part, I recommend you pre-grease your container with a little bit of vegetable oil spray. That way the corn syrup won't stick to it and you'll get the correct measurement. Have you got any grease? Yes. I also recommend you do this with your spatula as well. And your measuring tool. I'm just gonna use this to make sure it's all coated. Grease me up, woman! Okie dokie. For this, we're using a one-third measuring cup. All of the tools have been sprayed with vegetable oil. Now we're gonna measure out the light corn syrup. We need two-thirds of a cup, so we'll measure one-third of a cup twice. And then you can see that the syrup is not sticking. Normally you have to fight for it to come out. We're gonna do this again. Now that we've measured out our corn syrup, we'll just add it to the rest of the ingredients. And you can see how easily it comes out of the bowl. Now we're gonna take this over to the stove. This next part of the recipe is gonna take some time. So you wanna make sure that you can really pay attention to the saucepan on the stove. You really wanna watch what you're doing. Make sure you're not on the phone or distracted. You don't necessarily have to attend to it in terms of stirring or mixing it, but you are gonna be watching the temperature because we wanna make sure that we get the right consistency for our Jolly Ranchers. It can go from soft candy to hard candy to burnt candy. The mixture can easily burn and then the taste is going to be really off. Uh, you'll still be able to eat it, but probably will not be enjoyable. So make sure you have time to pay attention. That way you won't have to start over from scratch and waste your batch. You want to turn the stove on to a medium heat. You're going to stir your mixture until the sugar dissolves. You can see it's sticking a little bit. So just put some elbow grease in it. Oh, that's greasy. That's really fucking greasy. Yeah, that's greasy. Get in the corners because sometimes the sugar tends to clump up together on the bottom. And then once you see the sugar is pretty much dissolved, you can just leave that alone. We're going to use our candy thermometer. And you want to make sure that you don't put the bottom of the thermometer to the bottom of the saucepan because then it'll give you an inaccurate reading. I put a little bit of water in here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your pastry brush and just dip it a little bit in the water, and then I'm gonna wash down the stuck sugar crystals onto the mixture. 
You don't want that to interfere with how the candy comes together. You can see that the mixture is coming to a boil and that's perfectly fine. We're waiting for it to reach 260 degrees. It's so damn hot. Once the temperature of the candy reaches 260 degrees, you're gonna add your food coloring, okay? You can get this at any grocery store and we're actually gonna do the um, mint green color for the green apple flavor that we're doing today. And that's just uh, following the instructions on the box. Start with nine green drops and three yellow drops and then we'll see what that looks like and then adjust the color accordingly if we need to. We just need about one or two more degrees more and then we can add the food coloring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Once you've added the food coloring, you're not going to mix it at all. You're going to just let the boiling action mix it itself. It looks like it's a nice bright green. I added a little bit more yellow because it was just a little bit too much of a grass green than a green apple green. I pass on grass all the time. The minty green gives more of a green apple tone to it. We've pulled the pan off the stove at 300 degrees. We're gonna add green apple flavoring to this. I'm adding a full tablespoon. You wanna keep all of the essential oil within the, the saucepan. And now we're gonna add our keef as well. Now remember this has already been decarved, so we don't have to worry about that. And we just need to get it off the paper. There we go. Stir very quickly. You don't want the essential oils to evaporate completely. This may smoke, so I have my lid ready. Ah, man. That's some heavy shit, man. And because we're using Keef versus BHO, you may not have the same uniformity, but this came out really, really good. All right, we're gonna lift the lid on and now you're gonna take your candy molds and spray them with vegetable oil. Ah! So the color looks really good. I try not to over pour it. If you have someone that can help you, they can kind of shimmy the candy tray so that all of the portions are pretty equal. I've done this several times, so I have a pretty good grasp on it. The colors of these Jolly Ranchers look really, really good. They're really bright and green. They have a uniform texture to it. You can't see the keef at all. I can't even see it in these. When you pour these, you wanna have a very steady stream and a steady hand. The higher you go, the smaller the stream will be, but just remember that the candy cools very quickly. You just wanna make sure that each one has about two thirds full. These Green Apple Jolly Ranchers are for Bernadette Price. We'll be seeing her later in New York where we'll be filming a video for the new Sean Price album. And they have confession sugar so they don't stick together. We'll put a link to it in the description. I hope you like them. You wanna allow these to completely cool. For this recipe, we made 200 pieces using five grams of key. So I use all silicone tools because as you can see, the candy is all up on it, all up on it. So I usually just run it under hot water along with the saucepan and any other tools. And I find that it cleans very easily. Some of the mixture fell onto this silicone pad that I have here. And that's actually completely cold. Pick up the pace, woman! Now that they've completely cooled, we're going to stack the candy mold trays, dust the silicone mat with confectioner sugar, and then we can pop them out of the candy molds. That will prevent them from sticking to each other. I also have a container with a lid that also has confectioner sugar on the inside, and then we can store them in the freezer. By spraying the molds with vegetable spray, it allows that the candies come out very easily. You can see that they're a really nice bright green. The keef is evenly distributed throughout the candy. You really don't see very many speckles at all, if any. 
I like to sprinkle in between. I like to grab a sandwich bag and use it as a glove. Mm, like a glove. Here we are, our green apple Jolly Ranchers. If you want to make these sour candies, you can just add some citric acid to the bowl and shake it. Uh, you want to make sure that all the powdered sugar is coated on each and every one of these. So what I like to do at the end is put a bunch of powdered sugar on the top, put the lid on, and just shake it vigorously before I put it in to ensure that they're all individually coated. This is episode four of Mmm Medical Edibles. Please subscribe, comment, and give us a green thumbs up. That was awesome. Not for you. No chocolate for your doggy.